Shalom, I am Biscuit and a moment ago I thought of something interesting about switch cases in C. Now, I have discussed the curious properties of C and C++ switch cases before in my videos, but maybe you haven't watched those videos yet. In any case, it is such an interesting topic that it is worth discussing some more. This here is a very simple example C++ program featuring the switch case statement. As you can see, it uses an action based on the input value. This is elementary knowledge. However, what comes as a total surprise to most C and C++ programmers, even some experts, is the exact nature of the switch case statement. Unlike in many other languages, such as BASIC or PHP, the structure of the switch case statement is not very rigid. The case labels actually do not necessarily need to be at the top level inside the switch case statement. They can be nested inside other control blocks. Basically, the cases are much like those labels that you could use with the go to statement. This allows for many fascinating constructs. Now I will jump to another topic. BASIC was the first programming language that I learned. It had this cool command called go sub, which I loved. If the go to statement is equivalent to the assembler jump instruction, the go sub statement is equivalent to the assembler call or JSR instructions. It jumps to the target but also allows later returning to the next instruction. When I switched to procedural languages like Pascal and C, go sub was one of those commands that I really wanted to have. Now here's the question. Could we implement GoSub somehow in C++? Now I understand of course that structural procedures and functions are a much cleaner solution to subroutines than GoSub ever was. Nevertheless, I still feel some nostalgic love towards the GoSub command. Suppose we really wanted to have GoSub in C or C++ for some reason. How could we implement it? Now C programmers might think of setJump and longJump functions. But I don't like those functions, so I think of something else. In GCC there is an extension to C language, which allows taking the address of a go-to label. This GNU extension gives one of the possible ways to implement the GoSub instruction in C++. Now I realize I'm saying C in one sentence and C++ in the other, but basically I'm writing C here, except for the parts where I rely on the C++ standard template library that relieves me from writing tons of code involving malloc and free every time I'm dealing with data structures where I don't want to have a fixed size limit. So anyway, with this GNUC extension, implementing the return statement involves popping from the stack a void pointer representing the return location and jumping to that location. Conversely, the GoSub instruction pushes the return address into the stack and jumps to the target address. Because this GoSub macro can be issued many times and labels are normally global to the whole function, we use this GNUC extension, which allows defining local labels. Mind you, this stack we are talking about here is not the hardware stack. It is a data structure, for example a double-ended queue or a linked list. It could be any data structure as long as it doesn't intervene with how the compiler itself assumes the hardware stack is used. A compiler-dependent solution is not what I had in mind, though. Is there any way to do this in standard C? Turns out there is. Let's get back to our switch case topic from earlier. Remember how we learned that a case statement in a switch case can be nested inside any control structures? If we wrap our whole program inside a switch case, the whole code becomes a region where we can jump to some particular location without actually using go to. Now the stack will no longer store pointers of any kind, but simple integers, which are translated by the switch case into program locations. In the implementation of return, we pop a number from the stack and feed it to the switch statement. We do need one go-to for re-entering the switch. A for loop would also work, but a go-to is more robust against surrounding control structures that might inadvertently intercept any well-intentioned break or continue statements. The actual integer used as a key in the switch case is created from the current line number. This unfortunately means that there can be only one goes up statement per line, a minor shortcoming in this method. Now to compile this program. It works of course, 
otherwise there would be little point to this video. To drive the point home that this is indeed standard compliant code, let's use a different compiler and very strict compatibility options. There. I believe that seeing this kind of source code can inspire programmers to think outside the box and to find new joy in their chosen tools. Always strive to do at least some things differently. That is how you learn. Now here's what the basic program user earlier actually does. I wrote this program somewhere in 1993, when it had been less than a year when I began programming. Yesterday I just rewrote the program to make it better for showcasing in the video. Maybe you should not use the goes up trick in your code, but this was more to the point, a story device to drive home a larger lesson. If a programmer doesn't have fun programming, what good does it do for oneself to be a programmer in the first place? I believe that foremostly programming is an art. Some people believe that programming is a science, in my opinion that is a misnotion. Psychology can help explain the processes involved in the creation and consumption of graphical art or musical art. Computer science can help explain the processes involved in the creation and execution of programming art. All arts are governed by rules and conventions, but an artist must also be ready to break free from those constraints if they wish to develop. First, however, you must know why those rules and conventions exist. If you do not understand the rules and you refuse to work by them, the only thing you create is an unsightly mess, which hardly qualifies as art. So first, learn the rules and then break them artistically. That is my lesson. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go sub my channel.